The one thing that caught my eye as soon as I pulled this out was the braided copper uh, ground clamp. This guy, as you can see, it connects both the, the top and bottom and the lead, so you get a good connection. And best of all, I didn't even see that there was a stinger in here for, uh, for arc stick welding. Uh, when I saw the name, the Flux 135, I just assumed it was going to be a Flux core only machine. So bonus, side note, well you could hook up a TIG torch and do some uh, scratch TIG welding. It does look like they gave you some extra tips, a um, little cheap wire brush. The only thing I was kind of disappointed off the bat was I thought for sure there would be some wire in here. Okay, diving in, I've got a lot of information to go over. So we've got some wire. We'll start off with some .030. Didn't come with it, keep that in mind. I did notice for the mid gun that you actually can take this guy off the nozzle since that's a gas nozzle. We don't technically need it, but if you wanted to protect those holes, you can put on a titanium flux core nozzle. I think I'm gonna test it without any nozzle, uh, just because um, it's flux core, you don't need it. The tips, I actually tested out with Harbor Freight Vulcans and the Lincolns, those two are interchangeable. Take note, there's not extra long leads with these guys. So as you can see, the, uh, the power cord, it's only six feet, barely reaches that. I'm gonna crank down on this guy first, just so there's a lot of resistance. I don't want any chance of that guy unspooling as I take out the wire. Let's loosen this guy back up. There's my pliers right there. For flux core welding, you want your electrode negative. So I'm just assuming since you can't switch that around that this will always be negative. And since we have a positive and negative terminal, I'm thus going to be putting my ground clamp into the positive terminal. So the, there's four different settings. So it goes from 030 then down to 0.035, then up to MMA, which is the stick, and then down to TIG uh, setting. So I put 030 wire in it, so we'll keep it at, we'll keep it at that. Then the knobs are kind of interesting. I've, I've never seen any knobs like this. They just don't go from one end to another. They actually continue to, uh, to spin. I, I'm sure there's a special name for that type, and I don't know what it is. Now the wire speed, uh, that setting goes from a low to 20 up to 138, and then the voltage goes from negative five to five. Now there's no chart on the machine and there's no chart in the manual. So there's definitely gonna be some testing going on on figuring out which settings are right. I'm going to both extremes here to where I've actually got some 16 gauge. Yes, it could probably go lower, but I, it's all I got in my scrap right now. So I got some 16 gauge and then some quarter inch. There you have it, the 135 flux core machine. It's the 110V model. I would say it does an awesome job. I love the handle up top. It's easy to carry around. The uh, digital display is always nice. The control knobs might take just a little getting used to just because they keep going round and round. The DINS connections, that sucker is seriously nice. It took about 20 seconds to switch over to stick and I was already going. Really the only thing I had to kind of work with and adjust was the temperature. Holy cow, this sucker was hot. Um, I had to keep turning it down. I was able to eventually get a somewhat reasonable uh, bead with a stick. The rectangular tubing, I had to keep turning it down, but I was able to, to throw down some decent welds by the, by the last bend. And man, I just cranked it up for that 3 16 and it plowed right through it. I would say probably the only maybe one or two little picky things if you want to be is is probably the cord length. I would, I would just really would love to have like an eight foot cord instead of just the six foot. Kind of the last but not least is just 
maybe throw in a little spool of wire. Of wire. Um, that way it's kind of an out of the box welding machine, but overall it's a great machine. Check out the link in the description. Use coupon code MECHMASTER and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.